हाँ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग व सर्विस मॉडल्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल्स एंड द डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल्स ऑफ द पब्लिक क्लाउड प्राइवेट क्लाउड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड एंड कम्युनिटी क्लाउड एंड कमिंग टू द सर्विस मॉडल्स द सर्विस मॉडल्स और द रेफरेंस मॉडल्स ऑन विच द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इज बेस्ड the cloud computing is completely based on these service models with the help of the service models they are providing the services to the customers and these can be categorized into three basic service models infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service so here uh, the cloud service models whatever i said the software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service so software as as a service is acts as an end users so it is connected to the end users the end users applications delivery as a services rather than on premises software so here this software as a service consists of packaged software operating systems and application stack server storage networks whereas platform as a service is consisting of some application developers the application developers are going to develop an applications by using the platform as a service which is provided by the cloud here the application platforms are middleware as a service on which developers can build and deploy custom applications so it consists of some operating systems and application stacks server storage networks and next is the infrastructure as a service so the infrastructure as a service uh, so it is completely consisting of the uh, hardware the server storage networks and uh, network architecture infrastructures so here the computer storages or other it infrastructure as service rather than as a dedicated capability so rather than their own organization structure uh, infrastructure the customers are using the services of infrastructure as a service which is provided by the cloud now let us see this ias infrastructure as a service so this in, before going to know about this infrastructure as a service let us uh, just remember ias pass and saas infrastructure as a service is just acts like a host and whereas platform as a service is to build and software as a service is to consume whatever it is built it is consumed by the software as a service and it will be delivered to customer okay so ias is a host pass is to build and saas is to consume so these three terms should be remembered so that you can clearly understand what exactly these three services are providing the services to the customer so it provides an access to fundamental resources such as physical machines virtual machines and virtual storage etc so some of the examples for ias is amazon web services and go grid and it also offers some of the services like virtual machine disk storage virtual local area network load balancers ip addresses software bundles now let us see uh, whatever the ias offers all these resources are available to end users via server virtualization so the resources which is provided by the infrastructure as a service is available to end users these resources are accessed by the customers as if they are own them so when the customers own these resources they can access okay so this is also on based of their usage only based on the demand they based on the demand of the customer the customer can own the resources which is provided by the infrastructure as a service here the organization use their own platforms and applications with the service provider infrastructure now let us see some of the key features of using the infrastructure as a service instead of purchasing hardware outright users pay for ias on demand so ra rather than buying their own equipment to uh, perform the operations or to storages by the organization rather than purchasing their own uh, equipment they will use the ias on demand so that is that to users pay so the by paying some amount to the cloud they are using infrastructure as a service on demand who are using the organizations or the customers 
here the infrastructure is scalable depending on processing and storage needs so scalable means based on the usage you can pay if you are using less you pay less if you are using more pay more like that so it is completely uh, scalable depending on processing and storage needs and next let's see the issues that are facing by the infrastructure as as a software so here the first issue is it is uh, completely compatible with the legacy security vulnerability so means uh, here uh, infrastructure as a service offers the customers to run legacy softwares so which provides the infrastructure to expose customers to all of the security vulnerabilities of such legacy software so the main thing is uh, the the main issue is the here the all the customers has to run legacy softwares if they are using the platform as a service next is a virtual machine sprawl the virtual machine can become out of date with respect to the security updates so whenever the security updates are there automatically the virtual machines can become out of date so uh, the cloud providers had to provide some service to that automatically update such virtual machines but it is somewhat hard and complex to maintain this uh, mechanism so that is one of the issue and robust of virtual machine isolation so here the ios offers an isolated environment robust means ias infrastructure as a service offers an isolated environment so to individual customers through hypervisors and the next issue is data arrays practice data arrays practice means uh suppose whenever the customer using this uh, cloud okay so whenever the customer releases the resources the cloud provider must ensure that next customer to rent the resources does not observe data of previous customer so whenever the customer releases the resources the cloud provider has to take care about that that the uh, disk has to be arranged perfectly so these are the issues faced by this platform as a service